Hey baddies, so I got some new foundation and if you want to see how I got this look, then stay tuned. <laughs> What's up guys, so I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial today. Um, I've been running out of foundation, well not my favorite foundation I always use, but I ran out of like one of my go-to foundations, that's usually like my winter shade. And I went to the store last night to re-up on the shade and I seen something else that I've been seeing people using videos that I wanted to try so I got um this new super stay full coverage um Maybelline 24 hour foundation I'm so excited because I've been wanting to use it so bad it's been looking so good on everybody's fucking skin and that's what I want so I fucking got it I bought it it's here bitch I tested it it's my shade so I'm going to do a makeup tutorial with this fucking shade so I'm gonna do it <laughs> I'm gonna do it, okay? Cause y'all know I don't be doing much, but I'm excited cause y'all know I know how to fleek some shit, so. All right, what is up guys? So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because it takes me 30 fucking years. So let's go ahead and jump into this makeup. So like I said, I have a new foundation. I'm so excited. I want y'all get a clear view of this first impression because this is a first impression using this foundation so i have it in the shade that i would normally get this is the foundation i was talking about that i ran out this is my 355 matte cocoa um i've been using this for fucking years the first time i ever used foundation was with this and i was like a baked potato because i didn't know how to highlight and contour that was my freshman year after winter break so like december i remember that shit and ever since then bitch i was fleek but um, this is something new that everybody's been fucking using and I love how it looks. So I want to try for myself. I want to try for myself. So I went to the store and I automatically went to the darkest shade because I always feel like whenever I try to go for a shade that's my shade, it's never my shade. So I just went to the darkest shade to see if it was my shade. And the darkest shade, bitch, was so fucking dark. It was so dark. It was my contour shade. And I was shook because usually when it's the darkest shade, it's not like the same fucking pigment as the darkness on like the outside of the glass. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I had to go to 355. Okay? I had to go to 355. My reg, okay. Coconut. And it was the perfect shade. So I don't, I don't think that they changed their formula. Or shade formula, I don't know. Maybe it's a little darker than this one. I don't know. We'll see when we put it on because this one comes up really light on me. And it's, this is not a full coverage. This is like a medium coverage. It, like, my bags and shit peek through. Like, I start looking sweaty and oily. Like, this doesn't hold me all day like I love. But I love the foundation. It blends awesome. I started with it, so it's, like, always a go-to to me. So I keep it on standby. But I finally ran out. So, yeah, bitch. <laughs> so, we're just about to go ahead and put this on. I'm going to be using my favorite foundation brush at the moment because y'all know I'd be switching the fuck up. So, we're going to go in with our Super Stay 355 Cocoa. I'm so excited, bitch. Oh my God. Let's put some foundation on, bitch, because you're scaring folk, okay? <laughs> oh, my skin, Um, it looks. I'm going to do a skincare routine really soon. Um. I'm happy now because I have my lighting so I can do it properly like I want to. But um, as you guys can see, my skin looks, it's looking good, bitch. I mean, besides these bags I need to work on getting rid of, which is, um, I see something else that I can use coffee and honey that get rid of bags. So I'll probably be doing, I just use one squirt right now because I don't know how much I'm going to need. Maybe I'm just doing, I'm going to do another one up here. Okay. All right, let's not do too much. I didn't want to mess up this pretty bottle. Look, now I got makeup on it. It was gonna happen, you know, while I put it in a white bottle. <laughs> That's the real question. All right, bitch. Oh, look at that coverage. <laughs> I don't even want to take away my natural little sheen going on here. Bitch, it looks so normal. Wow. Can you have my bag, though? Wow, that's insane. That's insane, bitch. Wow. Wow. Let me do one more squirt for this side. Bitch, I'm shook. I swear that's like my favorite phrase, but for real, I be so shook. Like, y'all can't be... Look, I tell y'all all day, I live under a rock. So when I be exposed to some new shit, it's like, oh. 
I probably gonna have the best reaction home. I promise you that. Because it, I'm just, hmm. a rock. I live under a rock. Patrick, bitch. <laughs> I don't really like putting foundation on top of my forehead because it's always hard to blend and get in the way of my fucking wigs. But yeah, I'm gonna just do it for this beat. Full coverage, bitch. Y'all seeing this shit? Like Wow, bitch. <laughs> People be so offended, like, why you always tell me this, bitch? I'm not going to change my vocabulary for nobody, for one. Like, this is me. I mean, I know it's probably unattractive. Some people don't like it. Females just that a third. Boom. Great. But me cussing is like a form of releasing. <laughs> and it, it just, you know, that's me. Like, I'm not changing the switching shit for nobody. The fuck? When everybody in this earth, on this earth be cussing. But y'all just pick and choose when you want to do it. I'm picking and choosing to do it when I please, just like you. <laughs> I'm just not light with it. And y'all know that. If you watch my videos, you know that. So if you got sensitive ears, and I mean, if it's that much of a problem, I'll age restrict my videos, you know? I'm not worried. I'm not concerned because bitch is me, okay? <laughs> anyway, next we're going to go in with my concealer. We're going to use the Sephora. This is in... Cream Caramel. I said in the other video, I at first I didn't like the texture, but I like how the texture I came out now. So it's 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 coming in late, bitch. But actually, it's really because I'm running out of my makeup revolution. But it's still a lit as I, I look like pale almost or something. But yeah, I was feeling pale for a little bit. But um, yeah, it's just kind of to stretch my makeup revolution at the moment. I don't want to put no foundation. I'm not gonna put that in the bed. But it's so hard to blend out when you get shit up there, bro. I swear. That was pretty straight, like, okay, beach. Hold on, I don't want to crack it, but what can't you not fix, okay? But, um, yes, bitch. So right now, I'm just blending out my concealer. I use, sorry, guys, my makeup brush is up behind. But I use this makeup brush to blend out my concealers. I feel like everybody uses different products to, that works for their face the best way for them and this brush is one of my favorite concealer brushes that i really love how it just blends out my concealer um i used to be really a big fan of the beauty blender but i don't know why i just i kind of gravitated away from it i like my brushes more i don't know why i just feel like i have more control and i know where the fuck my product is going beauty blenders ain't for me but my brushes and it's not just my brushes like it, it gotta be specific brushes i pull brushes i have like i had over like five fucking makeup brushes kit all my brushes are pulled from all of them shits. Like, I don't have not one set of regular fucking brushes. Period. I have a Morphe set. I have a, um, what's that other set called? It's an Amazon set. I forgot. I have a fucking, this set. They sell this in Ulta. I have fucking shit that I bought individually. I have two other sets that I had two years before I even started makeup. Like, bitch, what is wrong? What is wrong? Y'all see how that blended the fuck out? This is what I'm talking about, bro. So I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer, the darkest shade. Um, I've had this for a while, and the shade is not even on the back. So the, the darkest shade. And I'm going to use this as my cream contour. I usually don't like using dark cream contour, but I feel like it's because I don't have the one that I feel like will work best for my skin. And I know the one that will, and it's the Fenty Beauty one because of the texture, how it will just blend. This, I don't like the texture. I just feel like it leaves like a residue or something i don't know you see this shit how slow i want to come out all right thank you so i was at walmart last night with my boyfriend you guys know i used to work at top golf so i see an old person that i used to work with i used to work there like we were really like cool but she was like a work buddy like whenever i seen her that's my bitch like so i played it cool because i was going to speak because i was excited to see her because i fucking live under a rock like when i see people i know or that i used to click with it's like oh my god like, I fucking, like, bitch, if you ain't did shit to me, I have no reason not to give you great energy. Okay? Period. If I don't give your ass great energy, you have done something to me, bitch. If I don't give you my energy, you've done something to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was just so weird because I was so ready, like, almost, but I felt almost the tension. Like, she looked at me and was like, oh. And I felt it, like, oh. Let me not say shit. Let me act like I ain't see her ass. Anyway. That was a mini rant, but that was so crazy because I like I live under a rock and I finally seen somebody I haven't seen in a long time and like it was just really almost awkward. But whatever. Anyway, I put my makeup revolution on. This is the shade C10. Yeah, I'm about to blend that out on top of this Sephora. If y'all seen it, Sephora looks really good. It had a really great coverage. I was shook, okay? Shook as fuck. Shook as fuck. So now I'm blending this out. 
Y'all can go ahead and get that set. Cause bitch, I'm excited. This foundation looks so good. The coverage is bomb, bitch. Like bomb as fuck. My hair looks so good, y'all. Uh, we are on our way to 25,000 subscribers. And for some reason, a lot of the subscribers like don't tune in to like the footage or anything. Like they just like, I don't know. Like I wish I had a higher interaction rate. Like I wish y'all interacted like a lot more. My subscriber base interacted more. Because I feel like I don't know a lot of y'all. Like, and I feel like you almost don't know me because you don't watch me. I don't think. Well, I don't know because I don't see you. You know, like, damn. I love y'all. Like, y'all part of the baddie squad, and I don't. I feel like I don't know you. Like, <coughs> like the same interaction rate, and I know all of them. Like, I see their names all the time. They comment all the time. I see them all the time. But I have like this many more that I have not seen or heard from yet. Where are y'all at? Y'all fam too, you know what I'm saying? Okay, sorry if you hear talking or anything. My family and stuff like just got in the house, so I'm about to set my face, Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I want to um invest in a nice translucent powder. Um I actually have a really nice matte powder. Um but I just I don't know where it's at actually. I do, it's probably in that fucking bag right there. <laughs> I have so many makeup bags too. It's stressful. I want to Get comfortable with like a translucent powder because I'm all I always use like a tinted setting powder because of my melanin. But now they have like really good translucent powders that don't have after flash math, <laughs> after math flash, or whatever. But contour, so contour taking my contour and I'm just gonna push that on up in there. And I'm gonna put my contour exactly where you want it. That's what you, that's the key. I feel like to put your contour, put everything exactly where you want it intentionally. Even if your face ain't shaped for it, make it look that way. It's an illusion almost. Makeup is an illusion. <laughs> How you contour your cheeks to make it look slimmer and it's not. How you contour your nose to make it look slimmer and it's not. How you can create an eye shape like an eyebrows like makeup is a whole illusion. Look at that contour. This is never that dark. It's only that dark because I did a cream contour under it, which is sick. I'm blend it on out right there, okay? I don't want none of my weave hairs to get in the fucking way while I'm trying to fleek this, you know what I'm saying? Like, can you not, please? Please, can you not? Now I'm gonna go in Black Radiance and take the dark contour. Now this is gonna like define that. Give it some definition. You know what, these fucking hairs, man. Now I'm gonna take my, this is my bronzer brush. Sorry, I'm having like a brain fart. But um, I'm gonna take my bronzer shade, which is the Scope shade in the Black Radiance palette. And I'm just gonna go over and blend all of this together. I usually use that bronzer shade like to sweep off that um, powder. I'll go back and do that later. I'll do it now, actually. Fuck it. I have to fix my baby hair and the edges and all that because I didn't want to do my makeup with the scarf on because I hate, like, <laughs> fucking battling with the fucking line every fucking time. And this is a full coverage foundation, so I was not even trying to go there, bitch. Like, fuck it. Now we're going to clean up that contour like I said we are going to do. That didn't come out as desired, so take this angle here. This is what I usually used to do, but that that back end has such a nice angle. Fleek, okay. Now that that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose. I'm taking an angled eyeshadow brush, and I'm just gonna go in from here. There. Okay, contour black radiance. Do the same thing there. Okay, boom. Boom. Okay. You is a baddie. You a baddie. And what we're gonna do is take this brush right here. Okay. Uh, let's make sure it's nice and clean on the side. You know what I'm saying?
I did that. I just been dropping shit this whole tutorial. Boom. Just go back in, clean that up a little bit. But now your nose snatched, okay? So now what we're gonna do is take that bronzer brush I was telling y'all about. Go in with that bronzer and we're gonna brush this right on the way. I should have started with the other cheek because that's the one that set it first. I gotta go. Boom, it's gone. Alright. You look good, girl. You look real good. Okay, I'm gonna blend up. Blend. Blim blim. Oh, it's funny as nose too. Okay, look. Oof. Girl, I about fucked up my eyebrow. I'm trying to be all. Hopefully that shit's still about fleek. Cause damn. Girl, you was a little too rough, huh? Fuck. Well, um, damn, it's 32 minutes. Okay, so. Highlight. I'm gonna take a more. I always suck at trying to get my highlight directly down the middle for whatever reason, but fuck like it. <laughs> Your face is beat as fuck though. Beat as fuck, okay? So Next, we're going to take our fan brush to do our highlights. My highlight, I'm going to take a more. It's just going pretty, isn't it? Damn it, these hairs, they want to get in a bitch way when I'm trying to fleek some shit, okay? Now I'm going to go in with my lip liner, dark brown lip pencil. dewy lipstick that i hate i hate dewy lipsticks but this color is so pretty um i don't think that i want to go light light today so i might just use these like go over with a brown i don't know how this is gonna look but let's see it's not bad looking I actually like it. I might got a new little combo beach. Y'all, this shit looks so good. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but it looks so good. Whatever. Um, I'll be back. I'm about to put on my lashes and yeah. All right, guys. So this is the finished look, the finished product. Um, yeah. So my 
my impressions on this product, this foundation, this one right here, I'm gonna put the cap back on. Um, I fucking love it. It's full coverage. It's like a upgrade from the Fit Me, period. Um, it is worth the 950 or however much I I round up to 10 so $10. It's worth the $10. Fit Me, we all know, is like $4.50, $5 budget. Boom. This is nine something, $10 at Walmart for the most part. And it's worth it. Um, I've bought $11, $12 foundation before. Um, L'Oreal. Um, the full coverage squeeze stuff. Awesome. Awesome. $11, $12. This is $10 and it does it. It does the job so easily and it's like, it's, it's awesome. It's like a fucking upgrade of Fit Me. <laughs> but yes, I'm shook. Um, Full coverage, guys, full coverage. Um, wow. So yeah, I'm shook. I'm shook. Like, I'm shook, okay? And maybe, maybe I just live under a rock and I don't play around with enough foundations, okay? Maybe. But for me, in my budget, this shit is the bomb, bitch. This is some, this is some bomb shit, okay? For $10, it feels like 100 for me and it looks like 100 for me, okay? So, <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 10. I'm happy I spent my $10 and thank you, Maybelline. You never fail me. You make doing makeup so much more easier. I love you. Okay. So, yes, God, that is my impression. That's my reaction. That's my review on that makeup. Super stay Maybelline 24-hour 355 Coco. Okay. That shit right there is ain't, ain't nothing to play with. Okay. So, um, yeah, pull that out if you're trying to fleek, sleek, and be geek. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why I like that slogan so much. I might be throwing that in. Okay. So this is what we looking like. Um, I mean, bitch, you tell me. I think. <laughs> okay, I just had to get out the bathroom light and see y'all can get a more like natural light with just the, the light going on. But yes, y'all, I'm feeling it. This is a whole. Your beat, your beat, okay. So, yeah, guys, if it's up to me, I tell you, go to the store and buy it. <laughs> and no, this ain't even sponsored, bitch. just upgrade your makeup with five dollars, five dollars more than what you were spending before, okay. So, with that being said, I hope this reaction helps somebody. I hope that this tutorial also helps somebody with their makeup, or a tip that I said could <laughs> help you. You know what I'm saying? I hope you take something from this. Um, but with that being said. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another video soon. Badass Bronskin out. <laughs>